Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video where I'll be playing out the Meteor F Mark III. Now the Meteor F Mark III was one of the first jets that I ever got in War Thunder and I absolutely fell in love with this thing. I love it way better than even some of the most uh, the top tier jets that I have, even more than the F-105 and I love the F-105 Thunder Chief. It's probably one of my favorite uh, military planes of the last ooh, three decades. I think that's how far back that plane was used. I can't remember for sure off the top of my head, but the Meteor F Mark III definitely takes that top spit, uh, top, top. <laughs> I've forgotten how to English. It definitely takes the top spot and the number one pick for the plane or the fighter, in this case, fighter jet or jet fighter that I will pick every time that I can, especially going at 7.3, 7.0, especially against ground targets. Now, the reason I say that is because of the four uh, 20 millimeter Hispano Mark V cannons that you have. You do have four of them that have access to, of course, your regular default, your regular universal, as well as tracer. You also have access to your air targets, ground targets, and stealth. Now, stealth is the best for air targets because if the plane can't see what you're shooting, then the plane that you're shooting at won't be trying to dodge, duck, and weave and make all those weird maneuvers. Especially when it comes to ground battles. Now against ground targets, especially lightly armored vehicles like uh, BMPs, IKVs, uh, uh, PT-76s, this will absolutely shred them. And all it takes is a small burst. You don't even have to hold the trigger down for that long, like less than three second trigger hold. You do have access to 780 rounds though, which between four cannons is more than enough to take out at least four or five lightly armored targets, as well as having enough left over for you to take out any incoming planes, especially against planes. You really don't even have to hold it down for even three seconds. You can just like tap it like burst tap, which will definitely do the trick. You'll rip wings and flaps, elevons, elevators. You'll knock off wheels. You, you can even pilot snipe with this thing, especially in a head-on attack, as you'll see in a couple of the videos. Whoopsies! Uh, actually, just hit the mic. Uh, you'll you'll definitely see. I did. I think was it two or three head-ons, and I pilot sniped. I think two of the people that I shot in one of the missions. I don't know about the other ones. I know for sure that one was like the best. <laughs> that was that's going to be the second mission that you see. Uh, now, the, with that being said, uh, the meteor doesn't have any. Uh, bombing capability other than the guns of course once you get to the mark 4 uh, I think no even the mark 4 no it's so it's the mark 8 that's when you start getting bombs but by then you're already going into the next uh, plane which is the javelin uh, you are in the Spitfire line so if you love Spitfires you can basically say that this is a Spitfire with jet engines uh, with a maxed out crew although my crew isn't maxed out uh, well G-Tolerance is uh, Go ahead and put that on Keaton Vision. G tolerance and stamina, you can outturn just about anything, as you'll see me outturning an F-84, which the F-84 probably shouldn't have been trying to outturn me. That was probably his fault for him dying, although outturning also means you lose your airspeed. And with that being said, these first starter jets that you see, the F-80, the Meteor, the 262, Horton 229, uh, the MiGs, the SU-17, I think, not SU-17, the uh, LA Yak-15, there you go. The Yak-15, uh, they all kind of got nerfed with the update a couple of months back, where all the starter jets are now a whole lot slower than what they used to be. So you do have to keep that in mind, especially when fighting F-84s, which uh, in today's videos, I fought nothing but the American Air Force today. Uh, of course, Russia was on our side, so we didn't have to worry about any SU-9s, uh, SU-11s, or any 262s, because Germany was also with us. So, without further ado, let's get into today's video with the Meteor F Mark III. Well, 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 looks like we've got ourselves an LA-200. We're definitely going to win this match, most likely. Oh, hey, look, it's the 262 with the butt rocket. Ha, 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 ha. The C1A. Uh, who are you fighting? America. Ooh, okay. F-80s. There's an LA-200, so there's most likely going to be an F-2H-2 Banshee. Maybe an F-3D. No idea. 
and the sun is like right there in my face too so it's gonna most likely be hard to spot them coming at us all right we're in the engagement zone right now and I was right there are F2H's there's two of them to be precise there was an F3D somewhere and somebody just took out an F9F which I'm pretty sure the F9F is the one that can carry aim 9 bs the early ones or either that F9F I'm thinking about is the one the little small snub one which might be the right one. Alright, let's go on and dive on somebody. F80's, uh, F84. Better target. He's slow. Pop air brakes. Pull air brakes back in. Nope, air brakes. to H2 right here. I think I might be able to get him. Yeah, I should definitely be able to get him. He's on fire. Alright. Okay, well, that happened. Let's see the if is coming at me, I think. He is. Critted him. Didn't do much to me. Oh, avoid that. Okay. I think I pilot snotted him. I did. Alright, let's come back on this F80 that I crit earlier. Got 198 rounds left. Kind of wasted quite a bit on that F80. And that F2 as well. That got taken from me. Somebody's just crashed into the ground, I think. Alright, he's out of it. Yeah, the Horton crashes the ground. Dang. 146 rounds left. Let's go after the next F-80, perhaps. I should have two people behind me, right? Yep. Nope. Reacted too late for that guy. Could have that guy. His elevator's out. He might go down, maybe? Without an elevator. That F 80s gonna cause some serious trouble behind us. Let's turn for him. He's gonna head on me again. Missed. 72 rounds left. Another head on, perhaps? Another kill. 36 rounds left. Uh, I'm sorry, 262, but I don't have that many rounds left in the chamber. About right there, maybe? Got him. <laughs> okay. Uh, F2H left. He's going straight up. That F2H should know better than that. That's like a death maneuver right there. Unless he knows what he's doing. He's, his elevator's out, I know. He, no, F -A F2H. Why, why are you doing that? You should know not to do that. That's the first rule of F2Hing. I've only got 16 rounds left, and I've got four rounds, so I've got two bursts, I think. Better not crash into me, okay. One burst left. No, I've got 12 rounds. I can do two bursts. One more burst. Alright, now this is my last burst. Uh. Come on. I hit. Okay, that's all I've got. I'll put smoke on. That's the last of my ammunition. I'm out of here. Oh, he's out of it. Okay. Yeah, the F2H. Uh, F2Hs are heavy, fickle creatures. There's only two people left in the match. I think one of them is that guy, yeah. Wait, did you say something? How many shots? Oh, I guess that last guy like spent a whole bunch of rounds on him. Alright, we've got 21 minutes of fuel left, no ammunition, and we're heading back to airfield. Let's turn off this smoke. I've just noticed something new out of the last match and this one. Uh, the front of my nose has been, looks like it's been burnt off. Now I know I did like do a bunch of head-ons, but 
is that the new effect for firing the guns? Okay, that looks pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Like the smudge effect. Smut effect. Smudge. Let's go with smudge. The, the other word's kind of kind of iffy. Uh, Alright, anyways, let's go and land and see if we can't get the last guy, which is probably a bomber. 90.93 pounds of bombs drop. Oh, I think the person just jade out, or either they're stationary on the field because we are about to win it. And next, yep, there you go, we won it. Alright, looks like we got ourselves a evening map, or dusk? No, evening. Dusk is darker. Evening map, and Rush is on our side yet again. We've got another LA-200, hopefully, like last match, we win this one. And another uh, meteor. Hello there, brother. Of course, I have a silver skin, you do not. Uh, let's go on and do I want to follow fly wingtip the wingtip um, probably faster than him yeah you need to let your gear in okay he put his gear in um, who are you fighting nope that's the wrong thing who are you fighting America yet again I'm guessing at this 7.3 you only fight America is that MIG on the ground or is it what that MIG was sparking. Okay. Just gonna look back this way. Uh, I guess at 7 point, you just, at 7.3, you only fight America. Which, I mean, two, three things, three different styles of vehicles versus Q is definitely uh, not the best way to go. Because each of these planes, they, they differ very dramatically okay we're just about there to the engagement ish area everyone's like spreading out really far right now there's another b29 up poor guy doesn't even know what's about to hit him and it's 11 i think maybe not uh there's an f-84 over there there's an f-84 over there f-89 it's a pretty interesting thing i like that for a ground attack there's something fast approaching me an f-2h um, SC 11's going in first. Let's see if I can't slot in behind this F2H. Everyone's chasing that F84. There's another one somewhere else, like way out far. Now, if he's, he's gonna just keep diving down with like that, I'm not gonna follow. You know what? Might as well go for it. That way he doesn't get away. Pop a little bit of air brake so you don't overspeed. We are definitely catching him. Oh, he's damaged. That's why. He probably damaged himself in that dive. That was a very aggressive dive that was... That he did. Alright, let's turn back in. Let's use all that speed that we got from that dive in turn it back into distance all right we're turned in into the last three planes other than the one okay you're coming right at me I would do the head-on but nope I don't want to uh, okay so there's an f80 and f80 oh there's an f80 and f2h uh, where did they go to there's the f2h the f80 is below me there's a b29 running away off in the distance and there's an f3d I think that went to his base to rearm See, I should be able to get him here. Flat air brakes. Come on, come on. Power back up. Air brakes in. Okay, thank goodness I lost control. Because there is a friendly winning cross me. And there it goes. Oh, somebody did get shot down in the end. Okay, there's the B-29, I believe. The F-3D is somewhere. No, there's the B-29. Okay, I gotta climb for him. Okay, our MiG-9 is going after an A-2D that's launching from the airfield, and the airfield is launching missiles. Oh, missed one missile, went to the ground. Two more missiles on his tail, the third one just launched. Uh, okay, that B-29 is now diving. I have no idea where the A-2D went. I do see the B-29. 
he's in a very aggressive dive downward. Okay, well I see two of the launch sites, which means that they probably see me. Um, MiG-9, I don't think you should go any closer. Even though that B-29 is coming back this way. That A-2-D, I wonder where he went to. Oh, that's for me. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just out of range. Okay. So there's a four kilometer range on those missiles, I think. And M247 just shut down that MiG. Okay. I've got 17 minutes of fuel, 497 rounds of ammunition. Let's see how close I'm eight kilometers away. Alright, let's let's just try to speed up as much as we can. No missile out on me. Now how is this B29 facing? Sideways, interesting, okay. There goes your rudder. Bye bye. You're not gonna survive for long with that out uh, that thing. I do have an engine oil leak on engine one. I should be perfectly fine though. Oh, yeah, the A2D managed to get away from base. Okay, we're full uh, thrust. Or what is it? War emergency power. We're full war emergency power on the A2D. He's 11k out. And there are everyone on the team going after him right now. I shouldn't be heading on or doing a head-on with them. But I'm hoping that you'll be gone before I get there, which I think is about to happen right now. Yep, there he goes. And we won it. Not as spectacular as the last match, but definitely uh, like the old, old, old matches. 1B29 left. <laughs> oh, still made second place. Okay, that's interesting. All right, once again, same old song and dance. Britain's with Russia fighting only America. <laughs> yeah, so it is confirmed. America only fights everyone at this tier. Another meteor? Oh, no, it's just a F8. That's the Israeli meteor. The one with the big nose, right? No, that's not the one with the big nose. That's the one with the normal nose. Alright, let's go on in. Same old, same old. Let's climb on up. Okay, I looked away for a second and we're already being attacked. Never mind, we're not under attack. F84 just went underneath me for some reason. Okay. That F84 is going for that IL-28, isn't he? No, he's not. He's turning back around. All right. Well, we're in the engagement zone. I uh, didn't get to climb up very high. Very unfortunate. But we should be able to make do it. We've got F3D above me. That thing's kind of like a flying brick as it is. So I'm not too worried about that. But that F84, F84s, I am worried about. Let's see. Can that meteor get that guy? Perhaps. Oh, that F84 is coming right for me, isn't he? It is. Uh, turning in... Uh, rudder it this way! Rudder it that way! Okay, made a miss. Good little, little bit of rudder action there. Now is he gonna turn back on to me? He is, okay. Rudder it that way as well. Okay. Well, if his goal was to push me down to the ground, he managed to do that pretty effectively. Uh, oh, F-89B. Let's go on ahead on with this guy. Okay. If my pilot didn't have a canopy, I would definitely have been having a haircut right now. F-80 is more something I can keep up with, I believe. So that F-84 comes back. Which he's going back right now. Oh, okay. What the heck? I guess he must have blacked out or either he got shot down. Okay, well, it looks like I have nothing but an F-84 to go after now. And there's one above me. Way above me. Coming straight down on me. 
uh, power down the engine. No, 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 no. Keep power, keep power. We gotta juke them. Go this way. Okay, we're fighting nothing but F-84s at this point. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I am not very confident in fighting these things. They are way, way fast. Okay, wait. The Meteor F-8 got one. Made them crash. Oh, they both crashed at that. Okay, this guy's just gonna, like, dive straight down at me. You know what? Head on me. I got him crit. He's on fire. Let's hope he doesn't have a fire extinguisher. Come on. Burn. Burn. The fire looks like it's getting bigger. Or either I knocked out an elevator. Alright. We've successfully knocked out one F-84. Although engines are overheating. Let's let them cool off and go after the other F-84. This F-84 is fighting four, three people. And I haven't shot him down yet. And there's an F-84. Two F-84s. The Italian ones, which are really good. Oh, he's dead. Ah! Okay. There's an A2D for 24 kilometers away. There's a B-29, 17 kilometers away. And an F-80. Where are you two F-84s going? Don't tell me I'm going to have to fight this alone. Looks like I am. Okay. F-81st, because that one can jump me. Oh, they must be out of ammunition. That's probably what happened. Okay, there's the F-80. Wait a minute, I feel like I've shot down that F-80 sometime today. In the last three or four matches that I've done. Okay. That's coming right for me. Got it that way. I missed that. My plane started yawn weird. Alright, got him something. Critical. Damage left wing, he is popping or leaking smoke. Play out of an oil tank. Alright, somebody's activated a blind order. There goes a B-29, so there's uh that guy accounted for. Uh one of them. Rim. Rim 116. There you go. B29. So that means this one's the A2D, that one's the F84, and that one's the F80. So now we just gotta find them. I do have 17 minutes of fuel left. I've been out here just flying, doing a pseudo patrol pattern to keep an eye out while our team respawned or repaired and rearmed. I might stay out for a little bit longer before going back in and rearming. Got plenty of ammunition left, so. Oh, HUD spotted. There you go. There's one of them. Let's go on and dive on him. Okay, just he just stayed there. Okay. Whoa, I almost hit his burning body. <laughs> that would have been bad. Alright, F. Uh, A2D is out, F80 and F84 and B29 is what's left. F84 has been spotted inbound and I just realized that these two F84s are together uh, squad up so uh, they should know what they're doing hopefully. Okay that F84 is probably gonna get this F80. No hits. I'm gonna go on the F-84. Got him. <laughs> All right, aircraft collision, but you know, it helps the teammate. Uh, let's see, they've definitely got this F-80. Oh, they're almost out of ammunition. Come on. Just hit your air brakes and aim. That's all you gotta do. Wait, did your friendly get shot down? 
Your friendly got shot down. Okay. You're an F-84. You're like the most overpowered thing at this tier other than the SU-9 and the SU-11. Air brake. Pull your air brake. Pull your air brake. You said it's overshooting. You're going to get shot down. Okay, never mind. He got shot down to an F-80. Okay. SU-9, it, it all depends on you now. Unless you're going after that B-29. I think he's going after the B-29. Okay, Vampire, it all depends on you. Okay, never mind. The, the Vampire is going after ground targets, which, I mean, that will make us win. Let's go see what the uh, SU-9 is doing, because that Vampire's engine is, like, really loud. Okay, going after the bomb, B-29. Alright, let's just sit for a bit. We've only got six minutes left. Uh, we'll cut to when there's something interesting happening. So, in the next minute or so, maybe? And SU-9, I think, is at wing break limit right now. Nope. Okay, SU-9's lining up the attack. Okay. What? What the heck? Oh, he's at the edge of the map. Okay. There you go. Oh, the F-80's also there. No, I think the SU-9 might have done this last. Okay, turn to the F-80 SU-9 if you can. Never mind. I think he's out. Well, it all relies on the uh, vampire now. All right, 20 seconds left in the match. <laughs> the vampire's gone back to uh, rearm. Uh, landing is usually where the most critical of mistakes happen. Let's judge him, not too harshly, because he did use his flaps and air brakes. Although landed off the runway, I give that a seven out of ten. Uh, zero seconds. We've won the mission. All right. Let's see who we're fighting with today. Well, obviously Germany and Russia, but we've got Sweden on our side this time. So that the the giant flying barrel thing, J29. There you go. Um, let me guess. Oh, it's America and Japan this time. So our two Y twos, and the. Kika, Kaika, however you say that, the uh, Japanese uh, version of the 262, the reverse engineered version, I should say, and the Japanese Comet, which I forgot what the name of it is called. I think it is the Comet. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. Got your gear down, 262. Should put it up before it breaks off. Okay, our teammate seems to have created a furball down there. There is a Kika. Uh, no R2-Y2 though. Unfortunate. Uh, <laughs> those things are pretty pretty strong. I don't know if they still are though. Didn't they get removed from the game? Or are they going to be removed from the game? I don't remember actually. Uh, F9F. That's a little small snub. Uh, uh, Banshee. This is the F9F Cougar or something. I forgot what it's called actually. No, the Cougar is the big one. If I remember correctly. The F. Theta? No. I don't remember. I have it, but I don't remember its name. Hey! I see a familiar name. Despair Divinity. Okay, so I have seen him. In, okay, this this makes two, which means I've definitely seen that name in at least the past four matches. Four or five matches. Uh, Let's not particularly go for him, perhaps. Or should I? You should remember this name. <laughs> now we're gonna go after this F-80 that's climbing straight up, I think. So we come back around. At the moment, the only thing that's really dangerous down there are the F-84s, and the F-84s are going really slow. So we should be able to like slot in behind just about all, everyone here. Air break out. Air break in.
Okay. Oh yeah, that 216 is going to definitely get their way before I do. Yeah, when he starts doing that, I think the 262 might lose him. Got him. All right. Sorry about that. Two six two. Oh, he's like way down below. Okay, so he was, he overshot anyways. Okay, let's see if I can't go and help the two six two get a kill now. Since I took his kill, let's go get you a kill, big guy. That's a C one A. That's the one with the rocket in the tail. <laughs> I wanted to say the other thing, but nope. Oh yeah, he's definitely out of it now. There's three people on his tail. One person on his tail. And he's out of it to the vampire. How many people are left? One person is left. Alright, well, at this point, I'm just gonna go and uh, farm ground units. Stealth rounds are really good for uh, taking out planes, but they're also really good for taking out lightly armored open top things like artillery and howitzers. And what? Oh, and uh, light tanks. I don't see any light tanks. There's a one, an APC right there. One out. Let's pop our air brakes so we get more maneuverability. Oh, the Spare and Divinity got a kill in death. Uh, the SU crash, interesting. If anything, with all these ground kills, I should be able to finish unlocking my Canberra, I believe. CL-13, might as well take it out. Okay, Spark Thunder. Thank you very much for all those rounds sparking. Keep it up and out. AA out. Another howitzer right here. And we won by the enemy team having no active players on the team. Alright, although there's one person left, he must have been sitting on the runway. Alright, there you go. <laughs> Thunder and Survivor. Alright, and there you have it. The good old Meteor F Mark III. My favorite <laughs> jet fighter. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Not too sure what I'll be playing in terms of War Thunder. I know that for USA maybe, I might play out the Bradley. There's a Bradley. Why are you with the M60? Uh, no idea. Anyways, the Bradley, uh, well, Bradley M3, Bradley M3 A3, uh, and every other vehicle that uses a missile launch system got changed, uh, especially those that are guided missiles, so like the, Ch the Sheridan, the Starship, the Bradleys, uh, the M901 uh, for Germany. What do we got for Germany that launches a missile? Martyrs, BMPs. Uh, what about USR? Of course, the BMPs, the uh, BMP3s, BMP, BMD4, BMP2, and 2Ms. Might have to give it a go at the, the new missile launch system because they definitely changed it. Now you can see the, uh, the wire in the scope, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, I guess look forward to uh, a missile vehicle <laughs> video in the next day or so perhaps maybe tomorrow if I can record it <laughs> and if I get good luck but with that being said I hope you enjoyed today's video and as always into the next one bye bye